the popular press lately has been full of reports um, regarding a couple of um, important topics within the field of cannabis regulation, one of which is the differentiation between federal level um, of uh, compliance and state to state level of compliance. And you know, if you, if you take or if you enroll in our on-demand module, um, we'll teach you the difference between how Canada regulates use of cannabis and the United States regulates the use of cannabis. And you know, there are a number of different fundamental things um, in regulatory policy um, that are similar between the two countries and a number that are different. So some similarities include you know, regulation from an advanced manufacturing perspective, um, what excipients and what active pharmaceutical ingredients are in cannabis and cannabinoid derivative formulations, um, as well as traceability, complaint handling, and other potential adverse events associated with use of cannabis and cannabinoid derivatives, both for um, health indications like uh, pediatric epileptic seizures in the United States, um, all the way through to the other end of the extreme to the adult and recreational use population. So this module will cover all of those aspects. We'll give you readings and some on-demand um, lecture content delivered by myself and potentially other faculty members as well um, to teach you about uh, what the cannabis regulation field um, looks like today, um, its current status, where it's likely to be going. Um, we're going to include a little bit of scientific content because it would be important for you to understand um, if you take a cannabis plant, what the active ingredients in that plant actually are, as well as other aspects of, again, state versus federal regulation.